It matters where you buy bundles. Hacksify. Hello everyone, welcome to another video of State of Survival at Wakurash Gaming. The aircraft formation system has been out there for several weeks and I already hate it so much. If you don't already realize this, it's stackable. There are no ways for free to play and low spenders to obtain the tactical analysis manuals and the coordinated operation data 3, other than exchanging their precious helicopter or aircraft parts for it. Then, it's so confusing as it took the developers several hidden updates to finally get it right. It is going to further to destroy free to play to low spending players even more than it already has. It's going to make mid spender rally leaders more weaker and it continues on the current trajectory to make these super whales even more stronger. If you don't know this already, this feature is the Gorilla Part 2. Since the combined power of all the aircraft formation systems is stacked, it will be another deciding factor in winning or losing a rally. Do you remember how hard it was to win rallies with all the strongest gorillas stacked in a rally? Well, welcome to part 2. It was so bugged when it was first released that one skill 3 was overpowering over all the other skill 3s. The recovery of force was so high that it allowed many people to just focus on the combo skill 3 as it dealt an insane amount of damage. That was totally unacceptable but the developers secretly dialed it a notch down. Nevertheless, in today's video, I'm going to share with you the upgrade path that you should use depending on whether you are a rally leader or a rally joiner then finally what is the most efficient depending on the events if you're a rally leader then you're going to have to aim to reach to aircraft formation system upgrade level 74 as soon as possible this will give you enough tactical points to unlock the entire combo skills and reach the last combo skill which is the best skill to have in my opinion doing the bare minimum upgrades along the way as what i've done in order to then be able to upgrade the last skills to 5 out of 5 is what you ultimately want to do as this will generate an insane amount of kills as the battle drags on. All the other early skills are pants and not even worth the technical analysis manual at this point. Meanwhile, if you're a rally joiner, then it is unlikely you will reach the aircraft formation systems upgrade level 74 so soon. This, you won't have enough tactical points to unlock the entire combo skills until the end. This is where you should focus on the shield path for now until you reach to the aircraft formation systems upgrade level 74 then you can reset your tactical points and redistribute your tactical points to the combo skill tree under the shield tree as a rally joiner you need 10 tactical points to reach the first skill shield upgrade tactical sustainability then focusing to upgrade the skill to 5 out of 5 will ensure you have unlocked the advantage that the skill has to offer as you upgrade you gain more tactical points so for the rally joiner you want to then try try to unlock the second shield skill being the shield upgrade total war again trying to bring this skill to five out of five overall unlocking both the skills will cost you 19 tactical points whereas you would need 24 tactical points to achieve the max combo skills level. However, if you're spending your hard-earned monies to buy formation offer bundles, why not get it cheaper with Paxify? State of Survival is an expensive game and due to global price hikes, it just got more expensive. This is where Paxify can help you save up to 25% on in-app purchases. The discount amount is based on your in-game prices and the exchange rates. Paxify offers State of Survival players a fast and straightforward onboarding process that allows allows you to start saving straight away without any waiting period. Due to their exceptional customer support, many survivors are truly delighted with their amazing service. Added with their range of payment options, including the WISE app or crypto payments, with detailed instructions and support provided step-by-step -step to set them up. Want to save more? Then take advantage of Plaxify's flash deals and purchase diamonds in bulk to receive up to another 10% of discount. With its fast onboarding, competitive pricing, and top-notch customer support, Paxify is the ultimate choice for anyone wanting to progress quickly in their game. Make sure to check out the link in the description below and start saving yourself a bucket loads of monies. Did you know in an update 
1.18.70, the developer introduced the reset button for everyone. So ladies, gentlemen and mammals, rejoice that now you can reset your aircraft formation system. After you reset, all the tactical points and tactical analysis material used for upgrades will be returned. However, you must then wait 7 days before you're able to reset this again. With this reset, you can pick Red Combo 3 or the Green Shield 3 or the Yellow Force 3. Now, let's talk a little bit more about the impact of the Max Red Combo skills versus the Max Green Shield skills in different events. What I noticed from reading various reports, the Green Shield skills activates from Round 1 and thus for shorter battles like Azden High Center Fight, the Water Path and the Alliance Showdown, if the reports are accurate, suggest a huge advantage using the Green Shield skills. However, for most other events where there are more than 10 rounds in a battle, then the Max Red Combo skills outperforms the Green Shield skills. Ask yourself, how many of you are actually excited to win Austin High Center Fight, the Water Path or the Alliance Showdown? Exactly right, not too many. The fact that you cannot reset very frequently means you have to think a bit about this part. If you're a smart player and you can time your tactical points reset every Friday, this means that during the week you could use the Green Shield skills. And when it comes to the weekend for the big important battles like Capital Clash, SVS Warfare, Reservoir Raid, you can then reset to use the Red Combo skills. So hey, that's a win-win situation if you can time your reset correctly. Well, that's all folks. Thanks for watching this video. Please share the video so that everyone knows how important to use the correct skills. If you have found this video helpful, I would appreciate a subscribe and do smash the like button as that would help me grow the channel. Thank you. Goodbye.